Hello again, Grimjack here and Agrarian Skies 2, episode something like number 40? Yeah, I think it's episode 40. Yay, 40. Okay, anyhow, um, what's going on here is I can't find the F5 key. What's going on here is I have been just smacking away at critters feeding down here, and I have collected um, 90 <laughs> of the uh, weak blood shards. I even turned this off because with a little lever, I can show you that. You're probably familiar with it already, but you can put a lever on any ritual on the master ritual stone, and you can turn the ritual on and off without having to spend without having to activate it again. So I turned it off and it completely drained and I um, turn, just turned it back on and it's already right up back at 20K. I upped the number of witches to 15, which seems to be the maximum number that will spawn in that chamber. And my, <laughs> my life force network is currently 434,000. So I think I'm going to be good for a little while. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do right now in this episode is I'm going to finish putting the bloodstones on my altar. I am going to make it so that you cannot see the ritual stones from a distance and it will look like just this flowing... Uh, blood flowing down from the altar. I think that'll look kind of cool. And let's see. Now the problem, the only, it's not a problem. The only real challenge with this is that making the um, bloodstones is a little bizarre in this pack in the fact that you still do one bloodstone and one smooth stone gives you 32 large bloodstones. Well, if that was all I wanted to do, then it would be fine. I could go through those pretty quick. Uh, wouldn't take much at all. But with this, you can make stairs, but it takes six bloodstone to make one stair. So basically, every single weak blood shard is only good for five stairs. Uh, so... As you can imagine, it's not going to go, whoops, that's not the one I wanted. Um, it's not going to allow me to, well, it will allow me. It's just going to go through a lot more of these than I had originally intended. That's all. So I do that and I do that and that. Yeah. So I'm going to work on the the visuals of my blood altar right now and I will be right back. What I am planning on doing this episode is um I'm not entirely certain yet. I know that I'm probably going to tear this down cuz I'm done with that, but you're not going to want to watch that. So that'll go that'll be kind of uh in the background as it were. And let's see what else do I want to do? There was a couple of things I wanted to work on. I'll probably leave this right here open as a back section to get in there. And let's see if I can still do that. If that works. Can I get down into there? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So that does that. I'm going to throw some lighting down here so that I don't have any surprise spawns. And uh, let me play around with cleaning this up first and then I will figure out what I'm going to do next. I think I had a couple ideas and then I saw something shiny and I forgot. <laughs> Which is all too common if you as if you've been watching my series so far. That's just who I am. I will be back in a moment. And I'm back. And one thing to be aware of is with these large block uh, brick stairs, large bloodstone brick stairs, you cannot uncraft them. So don't make so many that you will not be able to use them because 
you're stuck with them. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And so I thought I'd share that with you. I was pretty careful about how I did mine. I first tested that, and now I've got my exchanger set in a single block. And, well, crud. Did not want that. So do that, do that, do that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's not a tough fix. And whoops. No, 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 no. Don't want, don't want, don't want. And you just go right there. There we go. Alrighty then. Almost done. I think I did all. Poop. <laughs> nope. Not almost done. But I do have a large reserve over here still. So that is a non problem. And. Almost done. And then we will take a run over there and take a look at it. Notice when I say I'm running over there, I'm pointing. <laughs> not on the great, not on the game. I just, you know, picked up my hand and pointed over in this direction. Okay, so you ready? And on the mini map, it looks pretty cool. Here we go. Yeah. I think that works pretty good. It even gives me the direction of the flow of the blood. <laughs> Not quite, but it's still kind of cool. All right. And I'm leaving this one right here open because this is the right height to allow me to come down in here and turn this thing on and off. It's currently running. And... I am doing pretty good, I think. Click over there. Yeah, <laughs> I've maxed out. <laughs> now, I don't know if I just did that perfect timing, but I don't know that anything's using LP at all, so that was some pretty amazing timing. All right, so that means I can turn it off. Actually, I'm just going to go turn the grinder back on and let it kill the witches and then they won't be clogging up my system anymore bye witches bye bye actually I wonder if I wonder I wonder I wonder actually I know what I'm going to be doing as soon as I'm done with this I've got a whole bunch of quests to turn in. That I'm reasonably certain on. Okay, so, yeah, I have maxed out my current LP network at 1 million. And I did that within an hour <laughs> of getting this uh, ritual up and running. That's how overpowered... The witches are how rapidly they they just basically keep themselves healed the entire time um, they are now dead because the grinder finished them off but that is what it is so uh, I have some stuff to clean up here and get rid of and then I am going to let me yeah let me clean up let me get rid of this um, put all my blood magic stuff in here because that's where I want it and then I will um, start turning in some quests. And I will be right back. And I start turning in quests after I get back. I'll be right back. I'm back. And I just noticed how cool this <laughs> those bloodstone look from underneath around my spawner. That is just... I like it. I'm happy. Okay, so I have some stuff to... Whoops, what did I just do with that? Nothing. Uh, I have some stuff to throw up here. Okay, let's get rid of you, 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 you. And I have that. I want to look around and make sure I don't have any spawn areas.
is. All right, let's go turn in. Also, yeah, I just dis completely disabled my tree farm because I didn't want something to sprout up in there and clog it up. So, actually, it's dark. Let's get rid of the rain. Rain, rain, go away. Never mind. <laughs> and here we go. So, let's do the fruitless quest reward battle. <laughs> I also want to make up make that red heart canister. So let's do that first. Uh, uh, red. Let's make that. Can't do it. Okay, why can't I do it? Okay, my necrotic bones are over there. Um, can I make that? Nope, I don't have any apples over here. So I need apples and I need necrotic bone. Now apples, I should have a few. Necrotic bone, I know I have a few. And let's grab a stack of those. Throw them both in my AE system over here. I don't mind if it, that takes up a little bit of my storage. Uh, I still have to clean out the um, the minerals that from the uh, uh, broken and crushed and sand that I had thrown in here accidentally. Well, not accidentally. I was <laughs> struggling to get out from underneath a mess that had happened. Okay, so we got that. Let's go back to the red heart canister. Where we dump these in there. And we go back to Red Heart Canister, just like that. And we go you. I need that. I can make one of those. And we are golden. So I have one. Yay! And just right click it, and it's in on where it belongs. And all is good. Now quests. Let's see how many I have. Eight. I have eight to turn in. Okay. Where are they? Probably all in blood magic. Wouldn't surprise me. Considering how quickly I rushed through. Oh, nope. Assembly line. What do we have here? Um, Smash Bash. That is a pulverizer. Yeah, I've got a few of those. Uh, Nether Redstone. Claim reward. And you know what I'm going to do with, oh, you know what? I wonder if I can do that with another redstone. All right. Um, let's see what we have here. Elemental processing, turn molten lava. I needed a glacial precipitator and an igneous extruder. I have made both of those already. Claim the reward. Uh, laser mining. That is not that far away. One of the uh, near future projects I'm going to do is my uh, big reactor which I will need for the uh, for the big mining or laser mining I should say big reactor big mining uh, I could probably chunk through those pretty quickly uh, I don't know what those are yet and let's see what the next one was nope mob hunter should have cleared out mob hunter some in there yeah okay zombie attack claim reward brain bashing reward and mystical blood there's four that like I was expecting all right imbued slate we did that good uh, efficient sacrifice more blood runes sanguine scientium hmm interesting Let's see what that is I'm not familiar with that at all uh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, that, um, wow, oh, wait a second, oh, there we go, <laughs> I opened this up and it's like, oh, joy, nothing, okay, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is good stuff for somebody, um, Wandering spell tables. Oh, yeah, I have fun with spells. When I did, I was going to interrupt my uh, grind. Oh, that was what I didn't say. 
is that of the 90 blood shard, weak blood shards that I started with, I have 58 left. So I used 32 plus whatever it was that I used beforehand. So I think it was probably close to 40 blood, weak blood shards that I used for this particular cosmetic. So um, in our, the original Agrarian Skies, I, as my method for solving the uh, compressed dirt challenge, I had used the Ender Thermic Pump upgrade to the Ender Quarry. And I had just taken huge chunks of the nether and converted it all to dirt while I was after that, uh, not, not the Ardite or, or Cobalt, but there's, there's one, let's see if I can find that in the, um, what was it? Um, let's see if it says nether ore. Okay, it's probably in iridium. That was it. How did I go straight to that? Between the timing, <laughs> between the timing on my, <laughs> let's see how my my LP network is, and that that was pretty interesting. So while I was just slogging through digging in in the Nether with my Ender Quarry, it turned everything to dirt. Well. Some of the spells here in Blood Magic are scary overpowered. You can uh, do an excavation that not only excavates the dirt, but sucks it into your inventory to the point where this inventory right here is full in probably a minute and a half. And you'd go into the nether and just blast away at all this dirt that you converted from nether rack while it was doing all of its mining. And so you can, you can make some really, really powerful spells with uh, blood magic. So what the heck was that? Okay, so I have even more of this. Why is this all in here? It shouldn't be. All right. So um, that's right. I'm going to go dump this and then I'm going to try one thing very quickly. And that is getting rid of those. That's not it. I'm not trying that. I want some sand. And I want to come over here and see if my induction smelter, more steel. Uh, my induction smelter with that and sand. That does work. Is that giving me full? Oh, oh, well, that works. That works actually out even better. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so each of those nether rack, each of those, sorry, nether redstone ore, when thrown in with sand, gets you a block of redstone ore. And again, since you have your induction smelter, as long as you throw that ore directly back in with sand, you will get 16 blocks of redstone. Now, it is very important that I get those 16 blocks of redstone, and I'm being incredibly sarcastic right now, because <laughs> I have so much redstone that I literally put a void. Um, I don't have the... Uh, don't have the ability to pull it up right now, but I went ahead and put the, the, the void upgrade on there because I'm just not, <laughs> that was one of the things that happened. As you can see, I've got a lot of these now barrels upgraded and many of these things are at max. Uh, my lapis and my appetite are the ones that broke my system most recently and then I just went through and looked at anything that was over 30 at the time and said okay you get the limiter okay you get the limiter I got to do the same thing with string before I turn this back on or I'm going to have another mess uh, it's yeah <laughs> that void upgrade is is with with a system like this 
where you are just generating so much raw material, it gets to the point where when I've got that much stuff, the only thing that that's running for is for me to continue to fill up diamonds, uh, emeralds, and uh, eulorium. I've got all the all of everything else I will probably ever need, um, except say cobalt and ardite. But even that, I personally have not seen um, a situation where having a stack of cobalt, or or in the case of of this three or four stacks of cobalt or ardite was something I ever finished going through um, unless there was some sort of a quest to gather that much of that material. And I'm rambling again. I apologize. Let's finish up these quests and wrap this up. <laughs> uh, more network space. I did that one as well. So that gave me an extra rune of superior capacity. Uh, ritual magic. I did the master ritual stone and I got extra ritual stones. Uh, those will be useful because I will be setting up other rituals. So let's put those. I'm so glad I don't have to jump over things to get around in here anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, imbued slate. Rich slag does not belong here. And superior capacity. I may or may not throw on another five of those. Uh, make sure that, again, I have no surprises working around in here as far as stuff not being lit. And that's my primary concern at the moment is mob spawns where I'm not planning them. Uh, okay, so let's see. Now, are there any other quests to turn in. No, there are not. Okay, good. Um, hmm. So, and then, and then, and then, okay, so Safari Net, that's gone. Emerald, Earth Shard. Yeah, so I've got big reactors on the horizon. I have Thaumaturgy on the horizon. Uh, steel ingots. I have... Speak that which reminds me, I have to get more of this ground up since I've got to constantly remember to uh, stay on top of the steel production, which is always a challenge, uh, especially for the volume that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do a um. I'm going to see if I have a hopper. That's what I'm going to do. I do not have a hopper on me. I'm going to go get one. I'm going to do a flat reactor. Um, this was something I discovered doing some research the other day. And that it is um, very, very efficient. Apparently, you're, when, you're, when you're stacking it vertical and you make it narrow, you're not allowing the coolants to be the most efficient and when you make it lower and flatter and change up the types of coolant that you use you end up with um, better efficiency so in the past I was real happy when I had a 300% efficiency or something like that on my big reactors but now with the flat reactor and the way that it's set up, which I'll be getting into, I'll be making it probably, that, that very well may be my next big project. Um, the flat reactor is 517% um, efficient for the one that I'm looking at. And I'm only looking at making a one layer shallow <laughs> i don't want to say deep because it's not uh one layer shallow uh big reactor i'm going to set it up in such a way that i can upgrade it but it's going to start me off at i think seventeen thousand rf a, a tick i mean it's 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 scary <laughs> it's going to take me a lot. Let me. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go, uh, look up what the materials are gonna, what the quantity of materials I'm gonna need. Hold on one moment. 
Okay, here we go. It is um, for a 13 by 13 by one interior dimensions reactor. It is 21 fuel rods. It is 21 controllers, 64 buckets of cryothium. Yikes. 20 buckets. Ooh, that reminds me. You know what? I should be doing that right now. Um, yes. Ooh, shiny. Run in that direction. Ah! Um, <laughs> I need to... I have a blizz. And I need a... Safari net. That is empty. And I'm going to find a blizz... I do not have, um, you know what, I think it's over here. I want to spawn the blizz and I want to capture them and I want to throw them in my thing because that's going to make uh, getting gelid cryothium a little easier. So I have two, so let's go ahead and throw him down in here. And captured, yay! Okay, so I can get that going while I'm working on other things. But 64 buckets of gelid cryothium. I need 20 buckets of resonant ender. And the scary part, 485 reactor casing. Um, actually, it's a little more than that because the controller and a couple of the others require extra. But that is helps you see what it is that I'm talking about 485 so that's why for the last three episodes every time I've turned around it's like all right hurry up go back throw in, throw in some more steel keep it going <laughs> because I'm just gonna need it all right so there we go and Yep, you're doing that, you're doing that. And then the loot is going to go over here. And I need to get another better barrel. Sorting barrel, that is. Sorting barrel, got one. Now let's go over here. And do I have room for one more? I do. Let's put it up there and put that in there. Unlock it. Yeah, I should be getting some of those. Oh, am I just going to get snowballs? Oh, poo. Nope. Cool. I am getting blizz rods. Yes. Okay, so that was not a wasted effort. And let's go get some more food. Nom, 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 nom. And I still need to get the farms going which I'll probably do before too long again I keep I've got all of these things I want to do and then I start doing other stuff and I go Ooh, a shiny and I run off in a new direction <laughs> that's why when I first did the initial agrarian skies that this was such my friend because it was able to allow me to stay focused and keep focused on the different things that I wanted to get done. Um, let's see. So I have nothing else going on there. We were talking about... Um, talking about the big reactors. And the uh, reactor casings. Well, let's go sleep this rain away. dun 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 dun, dun. Okay, and we're getting about to that wrap up, wrapping up point. So I'm going to talk about the final part of the reactor casing. Uh, the reactor casing is going to take basically per reactor casing, I need a quarter of a eulorium ingot and a steel ingot. And since I need 485 of these that's um, a good eight stacks of steel so as you can imagine I have my work cut out for me so that being said 
Thank you very much, as always, for watching. I appreciate any comments, likes, dislikes, any participation in the channel helps. Have yourself a fantastic day. Oh, yeah, I can I can do the, the flying goodbye. <laughs> Yay! Have yourself a fantastic day. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye! Ha, ha, ha.